Hello friends, my name is Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So you already know what this video is from the title, but I just wanted to do a little explanation first. As I'm currently filming this, it is April 4th and as you're seeing this video, it's probably much, much later, but I wanted to start doing something on my channel, basically just different monthly challenges, like a video idea that I have that's gonna take a little bit longer than a week or two to plan or to film, edit, that kind of thing. So for this video, I wanted to pick some of my favorite booktubers and read their favorite books. And I've always wanted to do this because I watch a lot of different booktubers online Line. I have a lot of favorites and I know they have a lot of their own favorite books as well I want to see if I would enjoy their favorite books as much as I enjoy like watching them or as much as I enjoy some of my own favorite books So for this video, I've decided to read four of my favorite booktubers favorite books so first up on this list, my first booktuber's book that I'm going to be reading is Jesse from Jesse the Reader. Now his favorite book, if you watch his content, you probably know because he mentions it quite a bit, is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I actually picked up the paperback version of this because I always find it easier to read a paper book versus like an audiobook or an ebook, but I'm going to try to change that up a little bit. But this book I read actually two years ago for the first time, so I have read it before, but honestly I forget almost all of the events that happen and I feel like I could go into this book not remembering anything and basically just reading it for the first time. So I am really excited to read this book or technically reread this book because not only is it his favorite book, but it's also one of my best friend's favorite books. And so I really want to read this and see like if I can pick up all the things that he loves from it, she loves from it. All that kind of stuff. I've actually started this book. I am 37 pages in and I've also been listening to it on audiobook at the same time. That way I can kind of either read them at the same time or like listen to it if I don't have the book with me. For this challenge I'm also going to try to use more ebooks and audiobooks just because I'm trying to cut down on how many books I'm buying and that's just a freer, easier alternative for me. So the first book I'm reading is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children because it is Jesse the Reader's favorite book. The rest of these ones I don't really have in a particular order that I'm reading them in yet so I'm just going to name them out. My next one that I may or may not read next is Kat from Catastic, and her favorite book is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Now Carry On is a book I've always wanted to read because I started the book Fangirl and basically in this book the main character writes fan fiction and the fan fiction follows these two characters named Simon and Baz and Carry On is the story of Simon and Baz and the whole fan fiction story she writes is an actual book now that the author wrote, if that makes sense. I really have wanted to read Carry On for a long time and the fact that she's recommended it so so much and also how it's getting like another book in its series is really exciting. I'm probably going to be reading this one either on ebook or audiobook depending on which one's available because I don't own the copy of the book and I have a feeling I'm going to like it but I'm just trying to use more audiobooks and ebooks from my library because it's cheaper and I'm just trying to use other formats to try to see what I like the best. So number three that I'm reading is actually one of my like all-time favorite booktubers and that is this cat from Paperback Dreams. Now her favorite book, if you've watched her stuff, you already know she loves this book a lot too. She's rereading it soon. It is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. I'm also going to be reading this one either on ebook or audiobook. I've wanted to read this book ever since I've heard Kat mention it the first time. She's like relatively similar to my age. I watch all her videos. I just really enjoy her content. She's one of my favorite booktubers of all time. So I've really, really wanted to read this book for a while. I'm actually planning on doing a full review for this book sometime after I finish it. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. But this is Kat's favorite book and I really want to read it because of how much she has recommended it and loves it so, so much. Lastly on this list, I'm going to be reading Jordan Harvey's favorite book. That's just her channel name as well, Jordan Harvey. I like her videos. She's really like honest when it comes to reviews. I really like that. They're just entertaining to watch and informative, all that good stuff. So if you don't know who she is, be sure to check her out. She's awesome. Her favorite book that I've heard her mention countless times is The Goose Girl. Now, apparently this is like a middle grade book, I believe if I remember. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be as like similar to the other books I'm going to be reading, but I still really wanna give it a try because of how much she recommends it and also how like hard she critiques books. If she enjoys it, I have a feeling that it has to be a good story. So those are the four booktubers and their favorite books that I'm going to try to be reading over the course of the month of April. So this video is just going to be me reading, giving you my thoughts on how the books are, if I think they're as good as these booktubers have mentioned them, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's just see how I do. Welcome back. I just wanted to update you guys a little bit on my process and how much I'm enjoying this book so far. I actually am at 329 minutes so far of this audiobook. I believe it's roughly 10 and a half, 11 hours, roughly in that range. And so I'm roughly like 
a third-ish done, which I'd say is pretty good. And I actually really, really enjoy reading this book, like through an audiobook. I think the experience, while it is a little different, but like it allows me to imagine something so much further because the only thing you hear is like one person's voice throughout the whole thing, and you hear other characters' voice through it. You hear the main characters, you hear side characters. This um, book has like a podcast in it, so you can hear like the voice changes in the podcast characters, which I find really, really cool. And so, so far from my experience, um, listening to Radio Silence, I would definitely say it's like going really good so far and I'm really really enjoying the characters. I love Frances, she's the main protagonist and I love her like struggles, her thoughts that we get to see from her. I won't spoil too much but just how we get to see like school Frances versus like real Frances I think is really cool because some of her school self is her real self but she tends to hide her real self in her school self if that makes any kind of sense. Overall I'd say my review for uh, Radio Silence is looking pretty good so far so I am really excited because Kat is relatively a hard reviewer and so I knew that if she loved this book so much chances are it's probably gonna be a really really good book from what I've seen on her channel we tend to have rather same interests in books or at least whatever she says is good I tend to believe her at least so I definitely think that this book is well on its way to maybe like not anything below a three star I don't want to say anything quite past that point yet just in case anything happens but I am quite optimistic to see what happens with this book Hello, so it is currently April 21st and about five minutes ago, I finally finished Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This book took me forever to get through. I've essentially been reading it since I started this video and it's now 20-ish days in, so it's taken me a while to get through this. But, you know, overall, I would say it was worth the read. I'm gonna have more of my thoughts at the end of this video, but this is just my initial thoughts after finishing this book. I'm not 100% sure on my rating of this book yet, but I did enjoy this book. I don't know if it's something I would call my favorite book, but I would say it was a pretty enjoyable read. I like the characters and the overall plot, and overall, I can see how people can get absorbed in this world and these characters because it was a pretty easy story to get into and like it was just it was just good it was good um i'll have more of my thoughts planned out later on in this video but initial thoughts i liked it and i can see why jesse the reader likes it so much also two days ago i finished listening to the audiobook of radio silence by alice oseman and that was amazing. I have a video all about it already of the process of reading that book and also my overall thoughts on it, so you can click up here if you want to go watch it. But I really liked that book so, so much. I already know my rating for this book. It's a five out of five stars. It was perfect. The audiobook was amazing. The characters and the plot, the whole just story concept was absolutely phenomenal. The subplots, the antagonists, the conflicts, it was great. Highly recommend. Again, if you want to hear more of my thoughts, you can watch that video or just wait till the end of this video to hear them again. But overall, pretty happy with both of these books and I can see why both of these booktubers really enjoy the books. Now I have two more books left, which is The Goose Girl, which is Jordan Harvey's favorite book. And then I have Carry On, which is Kat's favorite book from Kettytastic. So those two books are what I have next. So until the next update. Hello, so I just wanted to do a quick update. I am currently listening to the Carry On audiobook, which I am about eight hours of the way through. I have roughly five, six hours left, and I am really, really enjoying it so far. I think I'm gonna give this book a relatively high rating. Not 100% sure how I feel yet, as I'm not done, but that's to be determined. I am really enjoying this book so far, so Kat, I can definitely understand when you say you love this book, why you love it. I am really enjoying it. I'm really excited for the fact that I can listen to this book on audiobook and still fully understand this like fantasy adventure story. I find that really really exciting and I am really enjoying it. I also have started reading a couple of pages of The Goose Girl which is Jordan Harvey's favorite book. However, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to carry on with that book. Get it? Carry on. Just because I was reading it I didn't really enjoy the writing or the plot very much. Not my cup of tea but we're gonna see as the few days go on if I'm gonna pick it up and see if I'll read any more, but as of this current moment, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. Let's add this little update on how I'm enjoying everything so far. All right, so the day I am filming this conclusion is May 1st. It has been one month since I started this challenge and I'm pretty happy with how this challenge went. I'm really glad that I read some of these books because one, I found some amazing ones and two, I've always wanted to see like what my favorite like booktubers really enjoyed in a story and I can kind of understand that just by reading their favorite book. And so I just find that really interesting and like how you can learn so much about a person 
person or kind of how much you can learn about a person just from reading like their favorite book or like watching their favorite movie or something. So overall, I found this challenge kind of really fun to do. But without further ado, let's jump in to how I felt about all these books, all that kind of stuff. All right, first up, out of the four books I read in fourth place is The Goose Girl, which is Jordan Harvey's favorite book. I read a bunch of pages of this book, did not like it, and DNF'd it, so did not read it. So can't say much about it, but I didn't really like the writing style plot didn't really intrigue me. There was just other things I wanted to read and my heart just wasn't in the story and I didn't really like want to put a lot of effort into reading that book so for that reason I did not read it and I just kind of put it off to the side and yeah so moving on to the books that I actually did enjoy we're just gonna move out of that one. In my third place for the how I enjoyed these books is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children which is Jesse the Reader's favorite book. Now I was debating between giving this book a 3 or a 3.5 I'm pretty sure I'm going to give this book a 3 out of 5 stars. While I can appreciate a lot of aspects about this book, such as some interesting plots and characters, I overall did not fully enjoy this book. I was kind of just trying to get myself to push myself to get through the story. I did find the ending though pretty rewarding and I can definitely see like the hook at the end to like make you want to read the next books. However, for me, it just wasn't something I completely fell in love with. I feel like this is like a slightly younger YA book and I didn't necessarily enjoy that for me. I feel like I enjoy other kinds of things within YA and that kind of thing. So for that reason, it just wasn't for me. However, if someone was interested in reading it, I would I would say go for it. It is a solid read. It just wasn't necessarily something for me. And I know so many people love this book and the series, so it definitely is worth reading if you like the synopsis and all that kind of stuff. But just for me personally, I think there's other things I would read before this book again. In my number two spot for how much I enjoyed all these books is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. This is Caddy Tastic's favorite book and I really really enjoyed this one. I listened to this book on audiobook. I really really enjoyed it. I loved our characters. I loved our plot. I'm really excited to see what happens in the next book. It's just been announced that a second book is coming out uh, coming this September I believe so that's exciting and honestly this was a great book. If you're if you're a lover of Harry Potter and you're looking for something that's kind of like Harry Potter but like not Harry Potter I would definitely try this book out. It follows our two main characters Simon and Baz. They go to this like magical school and it's just kind of like their adventures and their relationships and everything that just happens um, with these two characters throughout the like the story. I don't know. It's just really good. Check out the synopsis. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four out of five stars. I thought it really deserved it. It was a great book and I would definitely consider rereading it or listening to the audiobook again or actually buying the book. I don't know. I am excited for the second book and I do think I will be reading it once it comes out. But yeah, if you are interested in reading Carry On and you like everything I've said in this video, be sure to check that book out. I'll also have, again, all my reviews on my Goodreads, so link is down below if you want to check those out. And finally, number one, as you probably already know from this video, is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. This is Cat from Paperback Dreams' favorite book. And oh my god, it's definitely one of my favorite books now too. And I just, I just love this story so much. I listened to this book on audiobook and this is the second time that I've ever listened to an audiobook and it was amazing. After listening to Radio Silence and Carry On, I'm definitely now hooked on audiobooks. I just gotta find like a speaker that like sounds good to me and matches how I think the character sounds. But other than that, I love audiobooks. I think they're really good and a really great way to read. But this audiobook specifically was fabulous. I truly think this is a book that every single high schooler ever could benefit from. Or even if you're in elementary school or university college or whatever, I feel you can benefit from reading this book. Not only for the great story that it gave, but also just how much it like shows you that there's other options and that there's not one path you have to do and if you change your mind about stuff it's okay and also balancing like school stuff with life stuff and personal stuff it was just so good and it also had its own little like fantasy twist in it with this podcast they had and I honestly love this book through and through I give it five out of five stars I have a full video on it I loved it so so much and honestly I think you should read it if anything I've said about this book intrigues you please do read it it's just so good and oh I just want to reread it now. It's so good. Oh my god. That's it. Little conclusion at the end of this video. Honestly, I'm just, as I said, I'm really happy that I read some of these books. The Goose Girl never really read Miss Pilgrim's Home for Peculiar Children. I'm glad I gave it another try. And then Carry On was really, really good, and I would consider rereading that. And then Radio Silence was beyond fantastic. Oh my god. It was great. Oh my god. It's definitely one of my new favorite books of all time. All that said, I'm really happy I did this and if you've read any of the books, please be sure to comment down below and also give this video a like if you enjoyed it. So until next time, I will see you with a new video. So until then, bye.